So, how are we doing today? The Homeland Super XL 130. Ran like poop, didn't it? So, the one thing I never talked about on this saw, I did this for a reason. Uh, I put boost in it, boost ports. And I think I got the timing of those boost ports wrong. But the reason I never talked about it is because I'm not 100% on certain how they need to be set. I didn't want to lead anybody down the wrong path, if you know what I mean. So, I have another cylinder and piston, actually. We're sitting right here. And let's go again, you know? So right now I'm just going to work at disassembling this guy real fast and uh, we got to get this cylinder on and go over the numbers and see what we're going to do. Alrighty. So, so you guys might be wondering why I keep doing this to this saw. Well, there's actually a reason to my madness here. I don't I don't only really want to know what works. I want I want to know what doesn't work. Uh, so that's pretty much my main reason behind all this. I just I want to know, you know. I got one more bolt until this or one more nut until this cylinder is ready to come off. And I can already see what my problem is. So I basically ended up in a situation where I didn't have enough blowdown. I started out with too much blowdown. And I made an adjustment. And I took the adjustment a little bit too far. So now I'm in a situation with not enough blowdown. Now, I shouldn't say I had too much blowdown though. Because I've actually never been in a situation where I had too much blowdown. You know what I mean? So I think whenever I make these adjustments here, I don't think I'm going to touch the blowdown. I think I'm just going to let it be. And to be honest, I don't know if I'm going to like torque at 98 degrees. I liked the torque at 101. It was real torquey. I don't know if I'm going to like 98. Just the more I think about it, I don't know. Yeah, that's bad. I'm glad I didn't run it long. See, in order to get it to run, I had to run super rich. And the whole muffler is full of gas. Uh, the exhaust port has gas residue in it. And I've got deposits in the crankcase again. That's what I need. Or more, I need more blowdown. I think that's what I need think should have went with my gut because I've never been in a situation where I needed to deal with the blood arm. now I will say this cylinder has issues uh, I didn't realize it at first but the spark plug hole was stripped out and somebody put one of those replacements in it, and the replacement job wasn't done so well. It's kind of crooked. 
the spark plug goes into the cylinder kind of crooked. Uh, it was still running, but there was that issue with the cylinder. So here's the replacement and what do you say we uh i'm just going to go after it and get it ported but this time i'm not going to put the boost in i'm just going to do everything in the transfers um the reason is whenever i first started running this all I just, I'm not happy with the fuel consumption. Um, it's, it's just, it's eaten more than I would prefer. So I'm gonna try to bring it back a notch and make it a little more user friendly, if you know what I mean. I just wasn't happy with it. But I'll keep this cylinder just in case I wanna practice grinding on something. You know, it's always good to keep your bad cylinders just for practice. now we got to time this and get it ported right what number do I want to use I don't know um, our 101 was a it had excessive power so Uh, I'm thinking here. But you guys let me know what number would you use? Again, I, I really liked it on 101. But then again, that was with the boost ports and all that. You know? What do you think we should do? Now, another thing I'd like to do is I'd like to take it back to the original carburetor. Just to give you an idea, I'm trying to bring it back a notch. Uh, so I'm thinking 101, I might stick with 101, I just might, but I might take it to 100, but that's where I'm at, I'm thinking 101 or 100, I'm leaning more towards 100, it's not a whole lot of RPM, the difference between 101 and 100, there's not a whole lot of RPM in that. So maybe I should just go ahead with a 101 number and just take the power, you know? Don't worry about speed as much as power. So maybe we'll just do that. Go for the 101 and go for power. Go for torque, you know? What makes torque in a saw? The exhaust timing. Simple. Uh, the bigger that number is, the more torque you're going to have. Uh, squish comes in, compression comes in as a factor, but not as much as that number. You know? The longer that fuel is in there pushing down on that piston, the more torque you got. Plain and simple. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. I think we're going to go with 101 again. Go right back to where we were. And then start from that. Let's do that. Let's take it right back to where we were at 101. Subtract the boost ports. Then go from that point forward. And we'll go back to the factory carburetor. Let's do that. That sounds like a good plan. We'll take it right back to where we were. 
and uh, go from that point. Go from, you know what I mean? Yeah, I like that plan. I got something hanging on my chin. Piece of fuzz. Don't be afraid to do this kind of work, though. Don't be afraid at all. We'll get it. I think we're going to get it this time around. We'll take it to 101 and see what happens. Personally, I'd rather have power over speed anyway. I mean, you'll gain an average, an average person will gain cut speeds. They'll double the cut speeds just by learning how to sharpen better. The average person. You know, you can take a 20 second cut down to 10 seconds if you can't really sharpen very well, you know, just by figuring that out. But, alrighty, let's move on. And uh, the next video, we'll get this uh, ported and then get it tested. Alrighty. Till next one, guys. Later.